Now that Woodgrove Bank has mostly completed their virtualization project, they need to ensure that their IT assets are protected. As we will see in a later segment, the cloud computing capabilities of Microsoft's virtualization solution can be leveraged to provide greater flexibility in disaster recovery scenarios. Woodgrove Bank will use System Center Data Protection Manager, or DPM, to make their own backups of their virtual machines. DPM 2010 can be used in several scenarios. DPM 2010 can now protect data residing on its own platform. This means that it can back up client desktops and laptops that are on the premises, any files that are on file serving volumes, and any virtual machines running as guests. This functionality makes it possible for very small businesses or branch offices to deploy a single server that runs DPM as well as Hyper-V. DPM can also replicate from one DPM server to another. With this functionality, a branch office server running Hyper-V in DPM can replicate important data back to the DPM server at headquarters. This provides both disaster recovery for branch office data as well as centralized backup because the remote servers can be disk only, with tapes still being managed centrally. If Woodgrove Bank expands into one or more branch offices down the road, DPM can easily accommodate this distributed and centralized backup scenario. DPM 2010 now enables backup to cloud-based storage. For example, Woodgrove Bank currently has only one storage area network, or SAN. Even with the additional high availability provided by Cluster Shared Volumes, or CSV, and Windows Failover Clustering, the SAN remains a single point of failure for Woodgrove Bank's current virtualization implementation. By using DPM's cloud storage capabilities, Woodgrove Bank can utilize a cost-effective off-site backup location without buying into a specialized or proprietary backup agent. In the event of a failure that affects their SAN, Woodgrove Bank can use DPM to begin restoring their off-site backups immediately. The same DPM server that Woodgrove Bank uses to protect their Hyper-V VMs can also be used to protect data that's stored in desktop and laptop hard drives. By using a single backup solution, Woodgrove Bank IT staff will realize lower management costs. Microsoft DPM is designed to protect Hyper-V VMs while they're running. After the initial baseline copy of the virtual machine's resources are synchronized to the DPM server, any changes to the virtual machine can be continuously synchronized as often as every 30 minutes. The backup technology of DPM uses the Hyper-V VSS writer to identify which blocks have changed on the host storage volumes. Those blocks, and only those blocks, are copied to the DPM server where they're applied to an active replica of the data with previous iterations stored as a set of differences within the preceding backup. DPM can maintain up to 512 of these differential backups. The entire express full backup process usually takes only a few minutes to complete, depending on how much data has changed. After the express full backup is complete, the DPM server has captured an exact duplicate of the virtual machine from the original Hyper-V host. To provide multiple recovery points, DPM maintains a shadow copy of the changed blocks between the current express full backup and the previous one. These block level differences are stored. DPM uses them to reconstitute the previous recovery point, and in this manner, DPM can maintain up to 512 recovery points. Each of these recovery points is derived from either the data consistent VSS image from Hyper-V or the virtual machine can be restored directly back to the original Hyper-V host or to a separate network folder. Along with directly restoring individual protected virtual machines, Woodgrove Bank can also use DPM to protect the workloads running in the virtual machine for an extra level of protection. This configuration provides even more flexibility in determining how and when to restore data in the event of an emergency. By running the DPM agent inside the virtual machine, Woodgrove Bank can back up and restore just the protected virtual workload, such as SharePoint or SQL Server, either to the original virtual machine or to some other protected location in the event of data corruption that does not remove the virtual machine from service. By running the DPM agent on the Hyper-V host, Woodgrove Bank can back up and restore the virtual machine, either to its original Hyper-V host or to another host in the event of a catastrophic hardware loss. By combining these two options, Woodgrove Bank can quickly restore vital services while rebuilding is going forward in the event of a larger emergency. Using other programs in the System Center family, Woodgrove Bank realizes even more options for managing virtual machines, seamlessly integrating them into data protection policies, and restoring them into any necessary configuration in the event of server or site outages, including transferring virtual machines to standby physical machines, 
or performing bare metal recovery.